Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our Let's Play of Dead Space. I'm the Ninja Stalker. Let's jump into it. Once again, we are playing at night. Atmosphere is good. The game has its own atmosphere. Uh, I'm still messing with the visuals because, uh, as I suspected from the last video, in order to get 60 frames per second, there's a certain way to do it online. There's no actual patch for the game, uh, like there would have been for, uh, I don't know, there was another game that I had, I think it might have been, uh, Morrowind Elder Scrolls 3, no, not Morrowind Elder Scrolls 3, um, yeah, Morrowind Elder Scrolls, excuse me, 3 and, uh, Skyrim, they had a patch for those games that you can actually just download for the game, whereas this game, there isn't a set download for it, you have to do some weird D, 3D, decoder, bullshit, this and that with uh, some other crap that I don't want to do because there's a possibility of viruses or whatever. Uh, and I just don't have, I really, I'm really exhausted. I, I don't have the patience for that kind of crap to deal with right now because flight school is taking a whole lot out of me that I just, I just want to record and play the damn game and that's it. But, looking into it, I think, uh... Somebody mentioned that you could take, I think, VSync off, or was it advanced settings? And was it anti aliasing No, I think it was uh I think it was VSync. If you take VSync off, let me see what that does. Okay, so I took VSync off and I see the FPS. The FPS is like at 300. Oh, shit. I mean, it's smooth, but we need to try and probably fix this before going on. Yeah, this might be an issue. This might be an issue. So what happens if I turn everything on? On Max. Let's see what that does. I don't know, would that actually do anything? Uh, let's see what happens with this. Let's just see what happens with this. Check it out, there's maggots. So, use kinesis to move or throw objects, so that, and grab an item with B. Hold up, B. Uh, whoa, which button was B? B is supposed to be that one. Okay, so how about...
guys still... yeah. Still have a stasis. We'll hold off on that for now. Alright, so there's our inventory, there's a safe, that's what we had packed away. In our inventory, we have small pack, we have a stasis, we have some energy, but plasma. Okay, so there's the stasis. We only have 2,100 credits. If I sell the stasis, that's gonna net us what? Well, if we sell the medium pack, we'll get 2,500. If we sell the stasis, 2,500. be enough for another power node if I was to sell the medium pack and the stasis. We'll hold off. We'll, s we'll just hold off for right now. Flamethrower. But do we need a flamethrower? Uh, yeah, sure, go ahead, download that. Ah, oh, there it is. For 11,000, a flamethrower. Um, hydrogen, what's it? Hydrazine Industrial Torch. I mean, that's expensive. And I think if I remember correctly, ammunition for it's, it's gonna be kind of hard to run into. So I don't want to get that. Or again, I just want to stay with this weapon right here. It might get boring to see that, uh, but I think down the road we probably will pick up the pulse rifle or whatever it was called. I forgot the name of it. I called it a pulse rifle because I immediately thought of aliens versus predator and the the colonial marines. They have uh, the pulse rifle. Uh, give me a second. I need to uh, adjust temperature in my house and I need to check my phone for something. So I'll just leave it here for a bit. All right, I'll be right back.
Okay. All right, back. I don't know what it is with this house. Like, the temperature just wants to kick off and say, oh, it's super hot outside, and so we gotta <laughs> really make sure that the house is super cold. You set it at this temperature, we're gonna make sure it's cold as shit, though. I'm like, bruh, I just need normal room temperature. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah. Let's just go ahead and continue on. We're going to be on the lookout for as many items as possible. So any containers that I can break, any hidden items, we're going to try and pick up because we want those power nodes. We want upgrades on the dot. Ivan, are you there? Yeah. We were attacked. Kendra's gone. One minute she was there, and I, I can't believe I lost her. We can still do this. Get me the captain's rig codes, and we'll find Nicole. Looks like the crew barricaded the door to the emergency wing. We have to blow through it to get to the morgue. Get some thermite from medical storage and a shock pad from zero G therapy. Should be down the corridor. <laughs> Communication is useless in all this static. All right, so we lost a member of our team. There's that uh, thermite we're supposed to place there, I believe. Ooh, there's items that we can. What do we have here? Credits. Indeed, we have credits. We have another store. There's a lot of stores nearby. We have a save. We have a door we can open. That's the location we're supposed to go. There is another location that we can go to over there. Let's see. Plasma. Credits. What is this? A bench? No support. Okay. Locked. Open. We have <coughs> Excuse me. A thousand credits. Nice. The save. Uh, yeah, sure. Go ahead and save while we're here. There we are. Let's see what we have at the store real quick. Uh, six plasmas here that we can purchase. Small pack. Small air can. Stasis. Power note for that. We have that. We could sell. We could sell a stasis pack. And probably that medium pack. Go ahead and sell the medium pack. Yeah, do that. And, uh. Would it matter on the stasis pack right now? Uh. I guess we can sell a small pack. And keep the stasis, because we're probably going to need it. What am I doing? I should have stayed there. That way I could buy the freaking power node. Yeah. Give me that. Okay, so we have a power node in our inventory. Uh, we'll go ahead and save again. Should have done that afterwards, but it's whatever. Let's go that way, but I want to see what's over here. Okay, I hear some thump thumping. in her head. Ah, stasis recharge. 
Okay, so... What about you? I didn't even see what it was, but the frickin' sound got me. Okay, so this is locked. There's a bench. Thing that we're gonna have to worry about, maybe. Uh, rig. Let's spend three just to get that. Plasma. We're gonna have to spend two just to get here. the rig to get us more health. Kinesis is another thing to look at. Uh, that's gonna, that's gonna get me. As for the stasis, duration, and energy. That. I'm conflicted between the rig and the plasma cutter. Shit. You know what? Exhaustion uh, after 50 plus hours of waking, regardless of any desire to stay awake, not Harris. His explanation of events. The uh, colony is also on points, the same paranoia that we've seen elsewhere, planet side. It's guilt, there's no doubt.
in there. Yeah, I think upgrading this uh, plasma cutter is probably a good choice. Although at some point we're going to have to upgrade the rig. opposite direction of what our yeah this is telling us okay maybe we don't want to go this way just yet exiting vacuum Maybe we won't go that way just yet, because that's a lot of crazy shit. Let's go the way that it told us to go. <laughs> This game has a pretty linear path.
Hazardous anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Shit. Stay down. Hear something, but I just don't see it. Check and we're good. Okay, so we're supposed to go that way, but let's look around elsewhere. that. I think that's precisely the point, Doctor. God's work. I'm not so sure of that. We have to assume that the colony's problems are somehow connected to the Marker. You can assume all you want to. I do not. The Marker is glorious and divine. You... you know that. God moves in mysterious ways. Anyway, we'll have it on board tomorrow. You can analyze it all you want to. What are you so worried about? Worried? Captain, people are dying down there, killing each other. Is this madness, the transformation unitology teaches us? Doctor, Terence, there will always be risk when the stakes are high. And here, they're enormous. It could change everything. And that's what worries me. <laughs> so the doctor was worried. video feed from the colony. And what I saw was glorious. Breathtaking. 
miners undergoing a transformation into something extraordinary. I must know more. Even as the believer within me wants to become one of them, the scientist needs to uncover their secrets. I need to study one of these necromorphs, as Kain so clinically puts it. I need to witness this infection firsthand. Perhaps that patient from the colony. Okay. I was trying to break open a blood, blood vial. That's my energy. Small med pack. That's my energy. How's our inventory looking right now? Yeah, it's getting there. was uh, a little baby that uh, hmm I wonder if that's the prosthetics that they're talking about so they'll grow out these what clones is that what I'm understanding based off of your uh, bio DNA of some type and you can get the prosthetics based off of that so it's like the movie uh, the sixth day with Arnold Schwarzenegger you get these clones, and you can get the right uh, prosthetic for you. But apparently, these things got infected, and it killed a guy. That's just one of the things. Do I hear babies crying? you picked up should be able to melt through the barricade. Use the shark pad to ignite it. Hope I can hold this position. I can hear something big moving out there. 
right, so we got another power node. Power node, got some cash. We got one spot left. Picked up some. Okay, so that was that room that was locked. And that came up because we're up here. to get an extra two. Don't forget about the speed and the reload. Or straight up to capacity. Oh, yeah. Because I think the speed and reload is fine, but... Shoot. Yeah, we'll probably do that. So, put the power node there. And we can either go up to capacity or go straight over to damage. Uh, let's see. 
with capacity we can use up the ammunition but we need we'll go with this we need to do more damage and then we can move up for capacity and then damage again and these we can get some other time if we wanted to and then we go down the capacity over there uh the rig yeah at some point we're gonna at some point we'll have to do the, the rig because getting extra hp would be beneficial Shimura is able to set his gravity locally. Your grav boots will kick in when you enter a zero G area. that up.
zero gravity. Great. You got a shock pad. Combine that with the thermite at the barricade to destroy it. Shit. I can hear more coming. Moving gravity. through the vents. Stay safe, Isaac. Go ahead. Go ahead. Schematics take up uh, an actual slot. Okay, so power, so we can go for capacity and then damage. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah. I think those are what I really care about right now. Uh, this. Not enough power nodes here. I have to use a power node to get in the. I guess, how many credits do I have? Uh, I can buy one. 
I can get in there for those items. It might be worth it. Maybe. Uh, we'll check it out. Let's we'll see what happens. Thinking with those, just get the fuck out fast. Maybe that's where the flamethrower would help out, but again, I don't want the flamethrower. Pulse rifle and get ammunition for it, but I don't know. We'll see what happens. Give me a second. So we picked up a lot of ammunition and a gold semiconductor. Valuable, we can sell it for 3,000. Yeah, because uh, we don't need it. Also picked up a large med pack. We could sell the large med pack. That. Uh, so the amount of money that we got, including the other stuff that we did sell, we could get back. Well, well we kind of got back, and uh, we could get another power node. Uh, we could purchase the pulse rifle right now. Might need another weapon. Might. Or we can 
get a power node, upgrade our plasma cutter again. And hold off until... Yeah. yeah, let's do that. Let's get another power node. And just keep on, keep on. Cutter. Get that damage. Go here, then go from here to down here to here. And here. Something like that. Then we can upgrade uh yes. Medical Officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds, we are not equipped to deal with this. God. Get him to the table. Hold him. Nurse, you hold him down. Every quarter. That was Nicole, right? I can't tell from here when that log was made. I'm sure she's around here somewhere. I ran back. <laughs> I ran back to safety. <laughs> Come on. Ammo for a different one. I'll probably sell it, but that's like that.
take that and sell it. Oxygen. Well, that's gonna answer something. Anyone else hear that? Hearing the voices in my head. this time we did that it was worth it in a way we kind of made back what we lost but maybe how much do we have we're getting there and I do have items that I can sell for that I'm running out of space let's press on Hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everyone... Wait, I know you. You're Harris, the prisoner from the colony. You killed that nurse. Help. Somebody help me. Please. Please. Hmm. What's down here? Let's check what's down here.
Not for that. To bring up this marker. Okay, so that's locked. Science log, Chief Science Officer Dr. Kine reporting. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker, but the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. Okay. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet-side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. healing items. But there is a line rack and a stasis that uh that's so wait, is it yeah there's a stasis. Although I could use a stasis to upgrade. Or not upgrade but uh to increase that stasis that I have this one. Received and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Head to the tram station and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell is on this ship. So this thing could turn other things into those nasty shits. Credits. Plasma.
Hell's about. Back, we can use uh, power node to open that one thing and hopefully get enough money to purchase another power node to make up for the one that we used. At least I think we'll be going back. Should we just go back right now? Or. Yeah, let's just go back right now because it's telling us to go up, so I don't know if we're actually going to be coming back this way. Our direction seems like it's pretty linear that we're gonna go in one area. I mean, we did backtrack, but still, might as well just do this now. Back was it to the store? Ah, shit. I don't know how far back it was to the store. Suffer. All right. Well, now we can just go and pick up the schematics, and then come back and pick up the extra ammunition and ammunition for the line racks that. Uh, One of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Lifting executive lock down now. I found the deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, 
It came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. This. Where was this going to take me? That. Let's go ahead and make a save. Now, where was the bench again? Was it this way? done upgrading this plasma cutter and have a very, very reliable uh, weapon. Then we can focus on upgrading uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the suit. And if we get another weapon, which I anticipate we will, which I'm thinking it's going to be the uh, military grade pulse rifle, whatever it was called, uh, we'll upgrade that. Because we have this weapon that's very reliable. Save again. Okay. Let's see. We have 16. And on that one. Get him away. Get him away. Out of here. We still don't have the opportunity to upgrade the suit. Am I not reading that one? Nope, suit level two is probably in the probably in the next chapter, I believe.
Yeah, sure, go ahead. Alright, so there it is. We'll go ahead and uh, stop the video here. I might go back to this game after I do the next video. I might not. Let's see what time is it? Eh. We'll see what happens. So I'll go ahead and stop the video here. We already went ahead and save. Uh, the video should be a little bit longer than the last two videos. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, this game's getting there. It's getting there slightly remembering things here and there but then again for the times that i don't remember what's coming up this game is pretty linear it's not like uh more when elder scrolls 3 where yes you have a quest go straight for that quest but then you can like deviate from it and do a whole bunch of other stuff and this game is like you have one objective survive go forward push through here it is and for that matter uh because it's a survivor horror uh, survival horror which most of them are linear. Games like ones that I've done before, like Resident Evil Outbreak File 1 and 2, they're linear, but you can deviate a bit and find out little hints, little secrets here and there. This game tries to do that because it's got a little, uh, little dialogues, audio, text, and all that, videos and whatnot that help explain the reason why things are the way it is. But it's not like I can get lost, basically. Uh... Especially playing this game for the first time in a long time. It's just leading me down a certain path. It, it helps having this. It helps having that. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with it being linear. I'm just pointing out it's a linear path. It's something to follow through, which is pretty good. But I guess also at the same time, for it being linear, I'm also saying it would be nice if there was like a little more and extra other stuff going on. But it is a pretty good game. I'm liking it. I hope you guys like it. So there's that. Uh, I'll go ahead and stop the video. I'll see you guys next time.